come watch me give my Shiba Inu Kylo a bath. Now, Shibas are usually thought of as super high-pitched and really finicky breed that doesn't like getting baths. And even though the rest of my channel might be uh, featuring Kylo screaming, this is simply not the case if you just properly train them and get them used to the water at an early age. Now, I've been giving Kylo baths pretty much since he was a puppy, like as soon as I could. And even though he doesn't need to, because uh, Shibas are generally pretty clean, I like to give him semi-regular baths just to keep him used to the process. Now, you can see here, I mean, he's very calm. There's no drama at all in the process. Uh, as much as everyone probably thinks Kylo is just all drama all the time, that's just simply not true. You can see the work that I put in when he was a puppy is really paying off now because doing anything, cutting his nails, giving him a bath, is just super pain free and just a really relaxing time for for both of us so if you're watching this and you have a shiba or even a dog who just doesn't really like baths or screams uh, when the water gets near them keep at it grab a bunch of treats and just make it a really fun time for them because you doing this early on is just gonna pay off forever because just, i mean just look at kylo like he may not necessarily love it but this is such a easy, easy experience, and it's been like this for as basically since he was a puppy. Alright, today we're using first batch oatmeal and aloe shampoo. I find that the oatmeal helps with the icky skin. I know Shibas get a bad rap for being super hard to train and whatnot, and I see it in the comments all the time where they're super surprised about Kylo and how well trained he is, but honestly, I'm I'm not a professional trainer, I didn't do too much extra work. Uh, all I did was really just follow YouTube videos and just be consistent in my training from an early age and I think the results speak for themselves really. And some breeds may be harder to train than others, but it's equally on the owner to put in the time and effort to train their dogs properly and bond with them. So if you're watching my videos and you think to yourself, wow I'd really like a well trained Shiba like Kylo. It's really not rocket science. Um, all it is is just consistency, effort, and another big thing actually is to find yourself a, a reputable breeder that has really good, healthy Shibas. This way you're not worried about any genetic health issues and you're setting yourself up for success because breeders often breed for temperament as well. Basically what I'm saying is that you want to pick yourself up a Shiba with max IVs from the breeder. <laughs> Now this is a good place in the video to plug that we are going to be selling Kylo branded gamer bath water. So put your order in because these orders are flying off the shelves ladies and gentlemen. Watch as I drink this paw water and it's just gonna it's just gonna grant me eternal youth. So put your orders in links in the bio. Thanks. And with that we're pretty much almost done with the bath. We just have to dry off the little piece of bread. Uh, look at how happy he is. He's always happy after a bath. Um, but I haven't been able to upload as many videos as I like lately just due to how busy work has been. Um, but if you like hearing about Kylo's daily life instead of hearing or seeing him get uh, knuckle sandwiches all the time, let me know in the comments and maybe uh, drop a like and uh, leave a question if you want to hear more about what it took to raise Kylo. And I'll probably be making a video answering some of our favorite questions. So yep, that's all for today. We will catch you later.